So we start, make fists, raise them up, up, open, drop your elbows, push out. Palms up, make fists, pull. This is, would be considered like the gunji opening for those that already do hongkun or honga and you know this form. We open, push, pull, push, pull, push. Double elbow, press, thrust, press, big hoop, we close. Right fist on top, we bend the knees, step out, offset horse stance, chun kill. Sliding step, leaning stance, punch. Left hand underneath, step all the way through, pull the elbow back, punch. Toe out, big cross step, big hoop, dragon whips tail, turn the waist. Spin out, corner back fist to the head, make a circle, intercept, cat stance, punch. Step straight back, cover. Leaning stance, high block, low block, left knee up, drop and chop, uppercut, and we close. Good. So we're going to continue. I'm going to come towards the camera this time, then we're going to go left that way, and then back to the front. That gives you four different vantage points to see it from. Right fist on top, offset, chun kyo. Sliding step, punch. Left hand underneath, step through, elbow, punch. Toe out, big cross step, dragon whips tail, corner back fist, intercept, cat stance, punch. Step straight back, cover. High block, low block, left knee up, turn, drop and chop, uppercut, we close. Now we're going again to that next direction. Right fist on top, chun kill. Punch. Left hand underneath, step through, elbow, punch. Toe out, big cross step, dragon whips tail, corner back fist, cat stance, punch. Cover, high block, low block. Left knee up, turn, drop and chop, uppercut, close. All right, we're gonna go the last direction is towards the mirrors. Right fist on top, chun. Punch, left hand underneath, step through, elbow, punch. Toe out, big cross step, dragon whips tail, corner back fist to the head, cat stance, punch. Cover, high block, low block, left knee up, turn, drop and chop, uppercut, and we close. Good. Deep breathing. So again, hopefully uh, you can see something there of value. Um, this is a drill that if you practice regularly, you're building in a lot of coordination into your movement as long as you take your time with it. Like anything else, if you rush, the chances of you're doing it well are not very high, right? Uh, Sivu says to us all the time, if you want to speed up, you have to slow it down. So you have to build the coordination to do something through repetition, doing it enough times in a slow and deliberate way so that when you go to speed it up, A, you have proper body mechanics behind it, and B, um, it doesn't fall apart coordination-wise because you've built that coordination. If you just try to fly through everything, uh, you're going to find it pretty difficult to 